You know, we've been doing a lot of reviews around the Remington 700 SPS 308 uh, with the Magpul stocks and the primary arms, um, HUD DMR reticle scope, and of course Harris bipod and the Timney trigger and all the different things we've done here to make this a really great rifle. But one thing that I really had trouble with, of course, is the bolt handle. With any bolt action rifle, especially if you're going to put an optic on it, uh, it gets really close to the stock, makes it somewhat difficult to pull out. What we're going to do today here at Wheaton Arms is we're going to take and cut this and thread it for a Badger tactical uh, knob that we're going to fit on here. And of course other kind of knobs will fit as well. But it's a great way to be able to get a really easy grip on that bolt handle. This really makes a huge difference in manipulating your bolt. Uh, it's extended, it's larger, the way the teardrop's shaped, it just really makes this nice. And there are a ton of different designs though that you can go to. But what we're gonna do is, we're gonna, we're gonna talk to Robbie for a minute, we're gonna talk about some of the details, and then I'm gonna go through the process quickly of how this happened. But most of the information will be at the front of the video, but if you wanna watch uh, some of the milling work or the lathe work, uh, it's pretty fascinating. So we've got a few different bolt handles here. Um, this one and this one are both the, the Badger bolt knobs. Those are the ones that we stock and uh, supply to the customer. Uh, these are made by Surgeon and uh, Surgeon offers a, several different bolt knob variations. Uh, this one, they've got some with uh, some O-rings on them to help with uh, the grip. And honestly, there's, there's probably hundreds of different bolt knobs available on eBay. So if one of these knobs don't tickle your fancy and you want something that's just different and off the wall, go on eBay and look and you can find some really awesome bolt knobs on there. Um, send us your bolt handle, send us your bolt knob and we can thread it and install the, the knob for you and ship it back. Cost on the threading is $75 and then the bolt knobs vary anywhere from $20 to about $40 depending on who you get it from. This is a surgeon knob as well. It has the rubber O-rings on it. So we just wanted to show that one so you had a, an idea of some different stuff that's out there. This one is uh, $41. The Badger knobs here and here are $35. This one from Surgeon is $41. All of these are threaded uh, 5 16 by 24, like I said, which is kind of the standard threading uh, for the bolt handles for the Remington 700s. Okay, so this, this mainly just includes Remington rifles, right, at this point? Correct. Right now, we're only threading for Remington 700s. We're not doing anything for the Savages or the, the Rugers or anything like that. But in the future, if we do get more of a demand for, for the Rugers or the Savages, we will start threading those. With the factory handles being cast, I don't take real heavy passes. I take a real light pass on it each time. It takes a little longer, but you get a much cleaner finish and uh, reduce the risk of breaking apart if you run into a casting flaw in the, in the handle. So really, this is more hands-on. It's almost like you're, this is the, the traditional way to do it. Well, there's, there's other ways you can do it. Um, you can do it with a hollow mill and stuff like that on a milling machine or with a boring head. But uh, yeah, this is uh, it's the way that we do it. It's a nice, nice clean way to do it. You get a nice smooth finish, really good clean threads. You'll be able to see a little in a few minutes how we, uh, how we actually cut the threads on these. They're, they're not done with a, with a tap and a dial like some people do. The nice thing with the lathe here, everything's ran on a center. 
that all your all your parts are cut on the center line of the of the bolt handle itself so you get very concentric threads Four ninety eight, a little less than a hundred to go. Three thirty eight. Now you see how on your end right here, it's at an angle. Right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here and face this off and square that up so we've got a nice sharp square edge to work from instead of leaving it just all jagged like that. Okay, good. Now you can see we've got a nice clean profile with a sharp squared edge. Now this part's ready to thread, almost. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to cut a relief in this back edge. So that way I have a place for my threads to run out. It just gives a nice clean finish with your, with your threads. Back to our zero there, and back to our zero here. There's my depth for my relief. I'm extend that just a little. So now you can see we've got a nice relief cut in the back back here where our threads will run out. It'll give a nice clean finish once we get finished cutting the threads in it. Now what we do, I'll come up here and we've got a sharp edge on the front, so I'm going to relieve the front edge a little bit. Just cut a little chamfer on that. Right, now we're ready to thread. That way we don't have any push off or anything. Final cut. Okay. So here you can see we're using the Badger tactical bolt knob. These are uh, just a black oversized thread on bolt knob. It's 5 16 by 24 thread, which is pretty much a standard for uh, all your bolt knobs for the Remington 700s. We're going to check this and see how it fits. and. Uh, Maybe I have to make one cleanup pass, but uh, it should be pretty close right now.
Oh yeah, I like that. It's just a little deburring and some cold bluing and we're good to go. All right. I like it when a plan comes together. That's right. <laughs> You can see there's a little flashing around the edge here. We'll deburr that, clean all that up. All right, guys, I mean, check that out. Oh, yeah, that's it, baby. I think this is a great and reasonable service to have this done to your bolt. Again, you can go to eBay and pick out whatever bolt design you want as long as it falls into the thread parameters and he can do it. And of course, again, this is only for the Remington 700 action bolts. Hopefully, others will follow. But for now, if you have a Remington 700, this is a great idea. I love it. So the Remington 700 bolt extension, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. <laughs> He's a light man. All lighting today provided by Olight. <laughs> That's one baton, baby. That's one baton. That's one baton. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's part of it. Today's segment is sponsored by Skull. <laughs> <laughs>